So I've had a lot of people ask me how I do water changes and how I maintain these tanks uh, down in the basement fish room. Um, people also ask about uh, the sponge filters and they a lot of times think, how can you filter these large aquariums, six foot, seven foot, eight foot aquariums uh, with just simple sponge filters. And I'll, sh I'll take you through what I do um, as far as tank maintenance and water changes and, and filter cleaning. But yes, all these tanks in the fish room, except for the 300 behind me, are actually run off sponge filters and nothing else. Um, the only reason I don't do it in the 300 is because it's too deep and um, the uh, sponge filters just don't work. Uh, when I've got them sitting on the substrate, uh, there's not enough air pressure to pump all the way down through that um, density of water in order to make them work. So I've got two canister filters. But I'll take you through what I do um, and I'll show you kind of a, a routine water change day. Um, but uh, to kind of explain it first before I show you is I do gravel vacs on um, all these tanks. Um, you know, vacuum the gravel. And then what I'll do is I'll change about 50% water, take it down to about right there. And um, then I'll, when the, when the water's down uh, to about the 50% line, I'll go ahead and I'll take the uh, sponge filters out um, and I'll change, you know, each one. Well, I take that back. I don't change each one every week. I change half. I, I'll go one side, I'll go like all right, and then I'll go all left. But um, I'll go ahead and I'll take them out, rinse them under tap water. Um, a lot of people think that's weird, but tap water is just fine for sponge filters. There's so much bacteria in there that uh, rinsing them out isn't gonna get rid of all of it. Plus you leave the other half of your sponge filters in the tank and um, never had a problem. So um, depending on the size of tank, I use um, anywhere from one on each side all the way up to three, like on these big two tens. Um, so I'll have anywhere from two sponge filters total to um, you know six in, in a tank. So I'll take you through. First, we'll do a. I'll just show you a quick gravel vac. Uh, I'll probably do it on. I guess we'll do it on the Feste tank, this 125 gallon right here, and then I'll just kind of go through and I'll show you. Um, a day in the life of uh, what I like to call water change Wednesday. I usually do my water changes on Wednesday um, and I'll take you through that, uh, all the tanks, and we'll go from there. So I've already done the gravel vac here. I forgot to record it or the camera didn't work. I forget which. And um, But you've all seen a gravel vac before. So what I'm just going to show you now at this point is I'm putting in the, um, the line out <clears throat> and then obviously taking out two of the sponge filters and uh, we'll take them over to the laundry tub next and we'll clean them out but basically what I use uh, to get the water out as you can see is just a little uh, uh, contraption I made with a PVC pipe and um, I put it in the water you can see it's got an open closed valve and then a, I think it's a one and a half inch hose I hook it up to my python adapter on the sink and uh, turn on the water and water starts coming out. For all the upper tanks, um, I let gravity do work. But there's the python, there's the end of the hose and the python attachment on the laundry tub. And we're gonna go ahead and clean some sponges. I just use tap water. In this case, it's tap water mixed with tank water coming out of the tank right here. But I don't always do that. As I said earlier, Tap water is just fine to clean these sponges because there's so much bacteria in them. And I only do half of the sponges uh, each time. So there's still plenty of beneficial bacteria in that tank in the other sponges as well. And I tend to use more sponges than I need to. So we're, we're just fine there. What I'm going to do next is just start draining the tanks. We're going to speed it up into fast motion and just let you enjoy it. That's really all I've got, guys. Thanks for watching, um, and I'll let you enjoy um, draining the tanks and filling them up in uh, time lapse to some music. <laughs> Thank you.